So I'm gonna be unboxing this Ryobi 18 volt hybrid portable fan. So as many of you probably already know, I'm starting to get outside a lot more, um, doing more camping, doing things um, that we can do outdoors as a family or actually individually biking, uh, cooking outside. But the reason why I bought this was to see if this would be a viable option for us to be able to stay cool in the tent. So when we go camping, we usually go you know, near to the lake or uh, some other place to uh, camp. And depending on if they have any kind of um, electricity hookup or whatever, if they don't, you know, you have the quiet hours and you can't be running a generator uh, like I have over there to be able to try to stay cool. So what this will actually do, uh, I have Ryobi tools now um, that I have batteries for, and this actually will allow us to run this in the tent and it not require any kind of uh, electric hookup, even though it does have an electric hookup as it shows here. But what we're gonna be using it for is using the battery. So I got plenty of batteries. Um, so I'm just gonna open it up real quick. Uh, I've already taken the liberty of, of, of um, slicing open the tape. And pretty much, it's not much that comes in here, it looks like. Uh, we have the manual, but pretty much it's pretty straightforward. And it, turns on high and low and here is the actual fan so hold on i'm gonna pause right quick so i can get a pick this uh, up right quick so here it is here's the Ryobi um 18 volt um portable fan and pretty much it's um uh, pretty standard fan it feels very durable it's a hard plastic uh so it looks like it actually um it takes kind of pounding to have two small kids so you know, they, they can be a little rough on things sometimes, but for the most part, this is it. It has like a little uh, stand here to be able to sit up on the surface, but it also has this really cool hook. So, you know, with tents, you have these um, way to be able to put up your lanterns or lights, but this right here will allow you to be able to hook it into, uh, hook it on to some kind of hook either on your fan or if you have some kind of workspace, you're working outside and, you want to put it somewhere maybe in the garage or somewhere that you uh, don't want on the floor it allows for that so again um, lithium hybrid 18 volt and i'm going to turn it to the back so we can actually see some of the mechanics of it and i have my um battery here so that i can be able to demonstrate what it actually sounds like uh what it actually um, feels like and right here is where if you have an extension cord you can actually plug it in um, like so or of course um, the main thing you probably want to use the battery to be able to power it so let's try that real quick so I'm gonna plug that in so we got that plugged in and this is where you actually turn it on and off so this is the lowest setting right here with the one uh, bar and this is the highest setting so I'm gonna actually turn it on real quick flip it around and there it is oh it feels pretty good so you know when it actually gets a little bit warmer and coming from spring to summer of course it's not going to be as cool as it would be if you're in the house but for the most part you want at least some kind of breeze going on in your tent um, especially at night times or either in the daytime where you just need something to blow on you. Um, this is um, gonna help with that. And it's pretty quiet, not that loud. And we're gonna turn up, oh, it gets a little bit louder, but not too loud that, you know, during quiet hours it can serve someone. But I'm getting a lot of air from this fan. It's, it's, it's really cool. Um, of course, it's not very hot today. But I can see where this would be very beneficial to us to be able to keep the family cool during those hot summer nights and in the tent. And one of the things that we discussed about actually trying to get for our outdoor adventures, turn it off real quick, is one of the portable um, cooler uh, air conditioners. I'm gonna probably going to be ordering one of those pretty soon and I'll be able to review that. Um, with you and 
see how that goes and I'm sure that will be a lot cooler. Basically, it's a cooler that will, you put ice in it and it draws from the actual ice to blow out air and they use like a fan like this right here, maybe not this particular size, but it will blow out the air from there and I hear a lot of really great things from those. Uh, I know um, there's a company called, I think it's Ice Breeze or Icy Breeze or something to that effect, but there are people that actually sell them on eBay that make them themselves. They'll get like an igloo, fan, uh, igloo cooler, uh, cut a circle out and put a uh, fan in. The only thing about those fans, um, those uh, AC powered um, coolers is you have to plug it into something, either 12 volt or to a cord, using a cord. But I know with ice, I think it's Icy Breeze or Ice Breeze. I, I'll put a link in the, in the description. But basically, that has an actual battery. So that's why I'm leaning more towards that one. It costs a little bit more. I think it's starting out at like $329. It goes up depending on the size of the battery. And you can run it for like four, five, six hours depending on the setting. And if you get a larger battery, you can actually run it for a lot longer. So what we used to do, we take our generator, we have a Ryobi generator that's really quiet. I'm gonna do a video on that one. And during the day, I can actually charge those batteries, uh, keep that in tune so when it turns nighttime, I can have some battery power uh, during those quiet times. But if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'm gonna be taking this out probably in a couple of weeks to go um, on a little camping trip and see how it actually goes. And I'll give you a real um, better review on how it actually works in the wild. So uh, again, stay outdoors.